Previously on Survivor, as lines were being drawn, Angie was in the middle between Abby, Delaram, Josh, and Sadie. I Hello. think I can probably get Angie somehow. Versus Dane, Doug, Santi, and Tim. I could talk to Angie. After her second immunity win, in this competition, Angie is the only one. Angie ultimately sided with the guys. I think this is a very solid final five. I can give you my word on that. And Josh was eliminated. Eight are left. Who will be voted out tonight? Basically, Josh lied to Doug's face that Doug was pissed. Josh threw out Santi's name, so Santi was pissed. And then Tim and Dane, obviously, they're together, so they didn't want Dane to get out. And then Angie flipped because the boys said they would protect her. I was, like, really upset with Doug, and I thought it was a dick move on his part and, like, really selfish. Doug was like, yeah, like, the plan's still good. Like, we'll get Dane out next week. So Josh gets voted out and I'm like, what the fuck? Like, that is not the plan. I was actually looking forward to kind of working with him and so I'm like disappointed that he went home this early. What the hell? I swear to God, he flipped. <laughs> like, I feel like Doug is definitely a dangerous player because he's trying to play both sides and he doesn't want to upset like anyone. By me voting on Josh, you guys better trust that I'm gonna like do and I'm just having faith that you guys are <laughs> the amount of okay, gratitude like, that I have for you is pretty <laughs> insane. Don't worry, Dane, I got yes. you. Um, with Dane, like, I could use him and Tim as, like, a pair to help me with, like, votes later on. With Josh, I knew that he was really, really close to Sadie, and I felt that he wouldn't have my best interests. Like, overall, the guys alliance, like, there's some way to, like, break them apart. Oh, but, like, no. hopefully this establishes, like, Something. It has to. We'd be stupid if we. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> we, just, we would wipe out everything we've done. Exactly. Yeah. Because it's. As much as I'd like to believe that um, that group after who voted for Josh is like a potential final five group, honestly, it's it's never really that easy. And I've kind of had this sneaking suspicion the whole time that I'm kind of at the bottom of the rung and people are keeping me out of things. So. We're too friendly. He's probably gotta get like savage. So while while it feels relieving for now. It's like I have to kind of be wary, you know, like I could be going soon because that group might not be with me. Sadie's like, you know, I don't care. Like, she's like, I'm mad at you. You're selfish. You're right. Like, that was a selfish move. I'm sorry. And then the next day, they're like, it's okay. Like, the girls, are, like, I'm, I'll convince them to trust you. Like, final five still. And I was like, you're right. Wait till the end. Have any of you talked to Angie or Dane since? I think Angie's feeling good right now. She made a choice. I don't think she has another option. I think the five that voted out Josh is my, if I were to choose it, that's the final five I would want to go with. Um, and I feel really good about the group. I feel like I can trust them. It's definitely not one that I expected, but I guess that just shows how much this game can change. 
and how like flexible you have to be with who you're gonna work with. Okay, so but actually, what's the goal? Abby? I say Abby. <laughs> Look, I just hope that they hit you enough that they're not gonna go for your turn. Honestly, for I think for Abby and Sadie, it definitely will happen. I think for Della, probably. Bigger worries for me is that he's still really close and he could flip with Sadie at Abby and Delaram, and they'd be forward and four. Um, it doesn't make sense for him to do it right now, and I have to make sure that it never makes sense for him to do it. Targeting this week, I would love to target Sadie. Doug and Sati don't want to target Sadie for extracurricular reasons. It's not for the fact that it would be best for the game. They both understand that it would be best for their game, but they don't want to deal with the social repercussions of having somebody hate them. Which is stupid, they should just get over that. So if I were you, I would, when we vote Sadie, I, I would give Sadie the unity idol. Save her butt, get one of us out, and then play with them the entire game. Oh. In my mind, I want to keep Sadie and go far with her, but I don't see myself making it to the end unless I win out in that final five. I see Sadie, Abby, and Delaram, they've like blatantly told me that they're gonna stick together. I literally, Angie is this like scariest person because everyone's rooting for her. <laughs> She's the underdog. Literally every single person is rooting for her. Welcome, final eight. Before we start, Angie. Oh, I forgot it. It's in my car. Oh. I'm so sorry. She's out. Well, really you have no challenge. She wins her next game. Immunity is back up for grabs. We are now at the final eight. Every immunity from now on, now on is a big deal. You guys have, at most, six tribals left before you're at the final two. This is a Maryland tradition. We call it the pole challenge. You can drop it anytime and leave this challenge. There is no pressure. But if you want to stay in, you want to guarantee yourself another round, you're going to have to push. It's going to be painful. It's going to be long. It's going to be cold. You're each going to get a pull. On the pole, there's going to be a little ring. You're going to put your feet on that ring and hold on to the pole. If at any point you drop off the pole, you are out of this challenge. You do not want immunity. The winner of this challenge wins immunity, secures a spot, in the final seven, they also get a clue to the hidden immunity idol to give to someone else. Yeah, just chilling, you know. Prepared to go all night. Yeah. Five. Four, three, two, one. The challenge is on. My hands are cold. My hands, yeah. Hey, do all of you want to make a final two do right now? Yeah, we're, we're every drop. Individually, yeah. It's like when you're all jumping, you dip into the pool, and you say, all right, one, two, three, and then you don't do it. <laughs> I'm sure this isn't how you expected to be spending your Saturday night. It's what I do every Saturday night. I've been training. This is harder than it looked. Uh, it's very difficult. My feet are not small. Woo! <laughs> Let's attack the guy survivor. Ow! Ow. Delaron's getting in on this. <laughs> oh, All right. Abby. And Abby falls off after only a minute. I'm in, I have to be honest. Alright, hey guys, let's all put our tongues on the pole. See if it sticks. Ah. I don't feel <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Dude, that was great. 
I'm the most uncomfortable out of everyone else. Everyone else is just chilling, staying still, and, like fidgeting. I don't want to be squatting. Like, I put some strain on your legs. I don't know why they're squatting. Dang it! Oh, you kind of weird to me! I know, Dan looks pretty comfy though. Yeah, he knows his ass. He fucking knows. Honestly, that's not Dana's thing, that's the fucking Dana's thing. If you're really telling you stand with your hands on the wheel, then you're cute. I'm about to drop, I think. You're probably not gonna do it. Here we go. I will buy you something off the dollar at McDonald's. Oh, you know me. I would actually go for fries. Yo, how about that time I gave you the guest pass? Touche. You get on here for 11 minutes and they say only 11 minutes. <laughs> I'm better than Sadie. I just wanted to put that out there. Come on, like they were all in the same alliance, Stellar on Sadie, Abby. They're probably just like, oh yeah, this week, you know? You wanna play your idol? <laughs> Just curious, do you like cookies? Yeah, why? Okay. I want to buy you cookies for saving my butt last week at Tribal. Oh, yeah. I feel like you deserve them. Yeah. <laughs> I'm kind of doing this for fun. Yeah? I'm not really worried. Not worried? We'll see. Is it cold enough for you to drop? Hell no. Hell no, Dan says. It has to be colder than my ex-girlfriend's heart for me to drop. <laughs> I, think I don't have an ex-girlfriend, so it's chill. <laughs> Guys, I'm gonna drop. <laughs> Ow! Oh, Good hey, job, guys. Oh, his brother's wedding. Oh, you're sure. doing great. Sure you oh, feel safe. Safe. Yeah, we were you got four But honestly, at this point, like, I don't have an idol. I almost went home last week. I gotta do whatever I can. He knows but I still that think it's Josh or him, so he's like hopping on the bandwagon with you guys. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know? I'm not sure which of those it was, but I think like whenever you get like a lot of moves, you're still like, okay, there's still four people that are gonna use it. TBH, I want to answer more of My name will forever be on the Victoria. But even if I'm not going home for sure, I at least need to win something. <laughs> I'm pretty sure like Abby, Dalaran, Sadie are mad at me for running out Josh. I don't really trust Santi and Doug. And I think they're gonna flip. If anything, I would like stick with Dean. How do you feel right now, Tim? Did you take off a glove? I'm what? rotating. I don't know, change it up. It has only been 20 minutes. Just 20 minutes? Here. Yeah. I'm okay with that. It's only been 20 minutes, guys. Angie's really trying to prove herself up there. But come on, this is my challenge. I gotta prove myself. I gotta win at least one. It's probably me and Dane. Anders, I think I'm dropping. You're dropping? Yeah. All right. And after 20 minutes, Dane, what minutes, are you gonna do? Tim falls. It's funny because right on time. I That's just, the most disappointing moment of my life. I, I gotta remember the immunity idol challenge, and it is that the idol is underneath the table. So I tell Dane, I tell Anders I'm dropping out. I yell at Dane like, "When are you gonna drop out?" or something stupid like that. And then I look underneath the table and find it, and there's nothing there. And my heart sinks. Angie's been proving herself. Two out of the three merch challenges she's won. Like people said she had no chance to win and look who has no chance to win now. 
That just makes me hope that Angie wants to work with me. You saved my butt last week, and I told you you have my loyalty. No matter what happens, I'm absolutely fighting for you this week if we if you can let me win one. I need to win at least one to prove to people that I have a chance at winning this too. I know our, both of our names came up when people said we had no chance to win this thing. We gotta be team no chance and show them that we got a real chance to win it, huh? Exactly. Uh, I'm not how bad they want it. But the main reason why I don't want to lose is so that like I can secure my spot for another week. Because I'm pretty sure me or Dan are going home next. Like, I want at least one of the three out who are on our, who are not on my side. I so want Sadie out so badly. She's just turned against me and hit me from things because she doesn't really trust me. I was going to tell her to hold on to that pole and just go home. Like, she's a right I know. If everyone just went home, I would literally just like talk to him because I wanted to meet up with him afterwards anyway. The thing is like, if I don't let him win, like I don't want him to be salty at me for like not letting him win. Look, I know you trust me. I know, I 100% I know. Can you trust me enough to let me have immunity for once so that when we ride to the final three, we can both say that we fought hard? What are you guys still doing here? Come on. You want to watch people stand? What? Nothing. <laughs> he said, what are you still doing here? We're supporting you guys. And he says thanks. I appreciate your support, especially last tribal, you know? Angie, if you win this one, that means you'll have won three of the four merge challenges. Don't you think that means you're pretty strong? No, because I won as well. Wow, quitters. Just kidding. Love you guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Angie, they're gone. Santi and Doug trust me. That's at least four people. And Tim trusts me too. Do you trust Santi and Doug? Yes, I do. You really think so? No, they were. I talked to Sadie, she told me that, and then I went to Santi, and Tim, he was gonna stick with Josh's boat just because he wanted to stick with you, and that's why I don't really trust Santi and Doug as much, because Doug is really good with Sadie. I know. And you know, like, Sadie was gutting for you, too. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure she's gonna gut for me now, because, like, I didn't vote for her. I mean, with her. So as of right now, you need to I'm like trusting you 100% with all this information because like I know that you can easily go to them and tell them that I'm telling you all this. Everyone needed you last week. That's because I literally have no one. Yeah, well now you have people. I have you. Yeah, and I have you. Angie, you know I can't drop from this pole. If I've been the target for these past weeks, they're not going to hesitate to take me out again. Sadie specifically texted me. She was like, honestly, I think that you made a bad move. We both made it, but I need it more. How do you think? I'm gonna live through one more week. I'm gonna look back on this, see myself and be like, what were you thinking? <laughs> <laughs> Do you think Tim will tell Doug? We'll have to trust him. Do you trust him? I trust him. A hundred percent? If you ask him not to tell him? Yeah. You have my full loyalty and honestly of everybody else, I want you and Tim in the final three. Okay, well, can you help me think of how to make sure that Santi doesn't vote for me then? If Doug is gonna vote with Sadie and Dalaram? I'd have to go into Rocks. I mean, I can't tell you that for sure. Uh, but Rocks is better than one of us going home, isn't it? Wait, who's Rocks? Rock, <laughs> the four four split, and nobody budges. You draw Rocks, you go up and draw Oh, home. hell no. I don't think anyone's gonna risk that. Yeah. Okay, Dane, I will drop, but please promise me. You're not gonna go screwing this up. You're gonna stick by me, right? Yes. 
course. I'll stick with you to the end. I don't care. You're just saying that so you and I lose. I have no choice but to go with your suggestion. The only way I could possibly save this game. Can I have the idol clue too, just in case? Yes, of course. <laughs> Fine. Dane, I'm doing this for you, okay? I'm saving your life twice. Later down the line, you can't, you're not allowed to backstab me, okay? It's this game! And Angie drops yeah. oh. after an hour and 51 minutes. Angie drops. Right, I, I still gotta beat Micah's time. So, Dane. Congratulations, you have won immunity. You are guaranteed a one in seven shot at winning this game. Who are you giving the idol clue to? All right, Angie, I'm gonna send it to you. Okay. It's really cold, but I'll send it to you. It's just gonna be us. Okay. I mean, wouldn't it be crazy though, like if we both had immunity, you played some idol and we just like together blindsided. Yeah, <laughs> a part of me is like happy for him because like he's, like things that he was saying, like how he was like, the best loser on Survivor so far, or stuff like that. Like, I just did feel bad for him. So, like, knowing that he did win immunity, I like felt happy for him. Part of it was true. Like I said, like I do want to take her to the end. I do want her to be there. Like, ideally, it would be me, Tim, and Angie in the end, fighting for supremacy because, like, that's just that's just the way I want it to happen. So I wasn't completely lying to Angie. So I've at least asserted myself. I've made myself more of a presence. I put my name out there. And that's all I really wanted. So me, Sadie, Delaware, Santi, and Abby were all out, like the first five out, and like Sadie said, like, yeah, it's funny how them three are the ones still up, because they're the ones that know they're going home and are on the bottom. And me and Santi were like, uh, 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 yeah. Do you know what we're doing? Yeah, the first time. I was gonna ask you. Same. I don't know. If they lasted like 45 minutes or like an hour and then fell, like that'd be fine, okay. But the fact that they lasted the like this full two hours on this pole really meant that they felt in danger, which is like, if we truly have this like final five till the end go turfs, then like why are you still hanging on this thing for two hours in the freezing cold? It just didn't make sense. So it's like, in my mind, it's like, should we vote Angie out? Because everyone else, because like the girls want to, and because she doesn't fully trust me. Yeah, congrats by the way. You're Thank a you. real trooper. Thanks. I was like, yeah. there's no way this is still going on after an hour and a half, and then it was. It was, on. yeah. Angie and I were both pretty desperate. So. Why? I just wanted to win. Yeah, I was even not even kidding. Like I was just like, I want to win. Okay, that's fine. No, yeah, I knew you like, had it in you too. I literally was like. I'm like so happy with it's like, <laughs> you know, it, it's kind of too easy to just pick people off with a final five, especially when there's still idols in play. So while, while it feels relieving for now, it's like, I have to kind of be wary, you know, like I could be going soon because that group might not be with me. I, I got this far. I can't yeah. lose. No, them. yeah. At that point too. But I was like, I feel like we should trust like us enough where it's like, it's not like that either of them are going to kind of go home, but. But like, I know, I understand, like, that one, that one probably feels good. Yeah. Where it's like the one that like Sadie one where he's like pulling her name down. Like, right, right, like, That yeah. one, like, you like earned that. I earned it, yeah. I know Doug still has connection with Sadie. I know, like, people aren't really gonna want to get out Delaram or Abby because they keep wanting to wait to get them out later. And so it's like, now that it's only these three people left, it's like, well, our group of five want to get someone out. I'm skeptical of Doug and Santi voting a certain way, again, because Angie told me, like, they would have flipped and taken you out last week if it weren't for me. A lot went down when everyone left, by the way. I believe it. Tim, out of everyone, is definitely the one I trust the most. And when Angie told me that, like, oh, you know, they were gonna vote you out last week until I said, no, I want to vote for Josh, my spirit just kind of sank a little bit, because it made me realize that, like, where I am right now is just, like, so not in a winning position. Angie told me about like what exactly happened last week at the travel. She said Doug and Santi were originally planning to take me out and that they didn't vote for me because Angie wanted to take Josh out and they felt that that was an opportunity to get out of the threat. So instead of voting for me, they decided to go with Angie for Josh. I mean, honestly, I wouldn't put it past Doug to just go back. I would say, I wanted to say yes. I did too. What Sadie said to Doug, when I, it was just us three, she was like, wow, 
makes sense that the bottom three players are still on the pole. As much as I like, feel like I loathe Sadie for just like betraying me, I kind of have to respect how well she's played the game. That being said though, like I wanted to win that challenge and just throw a shot at her. Like I wanted to show her I'm not gonna like sit down and take anyone's shit anymore. Angie doesn't know if she wants to take out Sadie yet because like she doesn't know if we can get numbers to do it. Like if it's the three of us, like who are we gonna come? I could straight up to I really feel like you, that. you think you can. The reason we went so long was because Angie and I are both convinced that as if the other person gets immunity, we're going home. Yeah. So this week, I really want to target Sadie and send Sadie home. She's a really strong player, and I feel like doing so would completely cut Doug's ties with that group, and he would realize how hopeless, or like how he yeah, would have to stick with me. Like, I would be fine with Delarum or Abby or Sadie. Yeah, okay, I agree. Like, honestly, after then, hearing everything Angie said to me, like, I want everybody in this game out except for you and her. <laughs> well, that's why I want to, like, if we play this right, it'll, it'll end up being five of us. Yeah. And then we can pick the other two. This whole final five thing, I don't think it's going to last very long. And that's what kind of scares me because I am technically at the bottom of this five person alliance. So what did Dane tell you? He was like, oh, well, you two are really worried because you felt like the loser would go home. And then I was like, I was talking to him, I was like, I just don't think that's true, but like, obviously it's what you think. He was like, I really trust you, Tim. Me and Angie like, want to work together. You guys talked for a while about a lot of stuff. As of right now, I really just have to like, trust people, which is really hard to do in this game. I really hope that Tim and Dane will have my back. This week he wanted Sadie out, and I agreed with him. I honestly trust Santi as of right now. Um over Doug, because Doug and Sadie are like really close. And I just spoke to Santi and he told me that Sadie was trying to convince Doug and Santi to vote for me. Santi and Doug are kind of iffy as to what their plans are because Doug really doesn't want to upset Sadie for some reason and Santi is like basically doing whatever Doug is doing. Like, if they flip over to the other girls, then I'm just gonna go home because I know that Sadie and like Delarom are gonna be like voting for me next. I really don't know how close Doug and Sadie are. Like they've been the fact that I know they're close, but I also know that Doug says he's closer to us. I feel like if me, Angie and Dane like make a united front and like talk to him and be like, hey, we want Sadie out. This is the vote for us this week. We could convince them to do like to vote with to vote against her and kind of like flip on their alliances. Hey Abby. Hey Tim, what's up? Um, so like for tonight. Um, from the people I've talked to, I do feel like Angie's probably going home tonight. I don't think that Angie voting with the guys was a good move. I think she kind of screwed her game over. So I don't know what I'm doing. I feel like sometimes I'm on my own out here, like kind of like rally the votes. Besides like Delarom and Sadie and Doug doing the whole Liam thing. I haven't really been lied to in this game, and so like, I try and be as open and honest as I can, just because like, I feel kind of dumb lying to people. But like, who has it at that point? Like, it doesn't make sense to still up for grabs. We think that Liam had the idol. Because he's gone? Yeah, because he wasn't expecting to get voted off that day, so we think that like he got blindsided with the idol and the advantage. Oh, uh, okay, I guess that makes sense. Somebody has the immunity idol, that would have been our challenge. And that's definitely not a good thing because nobody's told me to have it. So if it's somebody on my alliance, then there's some distrust there because they haven't told me. And if it's somebody in the on the other side, then somebody like Sadie, Abby, or Delarom has the immunity idol and that's just not okay with me at all. We would tell Abby, the word that we're getting Abby out. We vote for Sadie, so hopefully in the perfect world, if Abby has a immediate idol, she played the idol, Sadie gets sent home, and then Abby no longer has an idol. I gotta work on my trust with Santi just as part of this game. Ideally, my perfect world, it'll be Sadie. No! We, we told Doug's trust! We're not betraying Stop, his trust! Stop, that's stupid! If he was in Tim, our situation, that's the same stupidest thing. idea I've ever that's heard. That's the stupidest idea. Tim. That's literally the stupidest idea I've ever heard. Okay, then what's stopping Doug from next week being fucked? Screw you guys, I'm going over into that. You're saying you don't trust Doug. That's I'm all that's all over here! I don't trust, trust Doug! Trust Doug will go Sadie if we force him. I still don't think it's the best idea. Sadie will literally hate us. It doesn't matter if she hates us. This is I told her today, because I, I didn't think we were making this move. I told her, like, you're not going home tonight. Chill. 
and I don't want to like that. That's messed up to lie to somebody right, like that. All right, not gonna lie. I'm a little bit personal vendetta here. She goes so when me, Dane, and Angie were on the poll, she's like, makes sense that the bottom three players are the last people oh! on the poll. At this point in the game, you've gotten to know people really well, and you've worked with a lot of people, and it's just like it gets. It feels like it's getting harder and harder. And it's just kind of like those blurring lines between the game and real life. But it makes sense Survivor, doesn't it? And Duck would understand why we wouldn't tell him. No, no way we're not telling him. That. that idea is stupid. For Tim, and honestly Dane and Angie as well, like Doug voting say yeah would be a testament to him trusting and wanting to work with them over her. I think the immunity idol has been taken. I just don't factor that into my game. But how do you not factor that into your game where I looked in the location it would be? The clue Doesn't said underneath the table, and it was not underneath the only table in the entire challenge. As much as I, I trust Doug, Doug has lied to my face like four or five times, <laughs> like with no remorse. Sadie just texted me saying, telling me about the idol you found at the challenge. So like, do I tell her that I already knew about it? I don't know. I just feel like, oh, thanks for me now or something. So this tribal, I'm not gonna play an idol unless something crazy happens, but I, I do, like if people are voting Sadie, I might give her the one that she told me about. Okay. Hey Nate, how are you? I'm alright, how are you? I'm great. I'm not, I guess, be vague about it. Yeah. What did he exactly tell you, and then how did you feel about it? Who was the other side going for? So basically, the other side's going for Angie. I know that. Yep. So like, yeah, that's who they said. And Tim said he's going for Abby, but he kind of wants Sadie in his heart. Angie's never given me personally great feelings. I felt good about her at the beginning. Then she literally, like the last time we talked, all she did was question me. She's like, what's your relationship with Sadie? What's your relationship with Tim? What's your relationship with Tim and Sadie? Like, what, did you send me the fake idol clue? Or was it the real one? How are you like with Santi? I'm scared that you guys are all gonna turn on me. And she just like, it was basically like a game of 20 questions about like my relationships with everyone. But about Angie, I don't know what'll happen because I'll probably lose Dane's trust, probably Tim's. Like I know you still have like good relationship with Sadie even after last week. Right, and it's like she is gonna go home. Like, so that's why the order doesn't really matter. So it just like personally make me feel a little, my conscience feel better if we just like had Abby first, if that makes sense. I mean, honestly, it's a game. If she's gonna go home, why are you hesitant? Yeah. I know that, I know, like, you said it would make you feel better if Abby went home first. Everyone else wants to vote out Sadie in my, like, final five alliance, but I'm saying no. I want to vote out Abby or Dalram, just because, like, I want to get rid of that trio. I do think, I still literally think I could work with Sadie and even the one other person after that. No, I mean, I heard that comment too, when you all were down about the polls. Oh, look, the last three people in the poll, it's like, we can put her up there, and I'm like, wow, alright, fuck you too, Sadie, you know? No, he said that to me! Yeah, sure. Oh, I definitely told Dana that. Hi, Dane. Hey, Dane. Yeah. Yeah. Like, if we all went, not even, like, all of us were for Sadie, if four people went for Sadie, then we can get Abby to play her idol, or whomever to play an idol for Abby. Then we can go back and take Sadie out. We both said if we vote each other out before Final Five, that would be like personal, so I don't want to do that. We've like controlled this game together so far, so it's like. And we've told each other everything, so if you just like cut someone that easy, it's like, okay. And she'd be mad that I like kept Dane over her. I'm not a good liar. No, you lied to me, fine. <laughs> Rip it off like a band aid. Rip it off like a band aid. I rip my band aids off slowly. Like, I know Doug is sad, but like, he's, no offense, but he needs to get over that shit. Yeah, no, like, he needs to grow up. Try come on, what are we, in elementary school? This is a game. We're in college now. We don't need Doug to vote. We just need him to vote for him. So we tell Doug, Abby or Dalaram, and then the four of us vote a different way? Let's we'll see. Yeah. Yeah, you know, that could work. Dalaram's like, who are you thinking of voting off tonight? They want to know so that they can play their editing. I'm so tempted to just be like myself. I kind of want to. No, I'm gonna say that to her. See what she says. Okay, I'm calling her. You want to video too? Sure. 
I think people are in the process of deciding what they're doing. Like, I think people, I don't think anyone is, like, conclusive on what they're doing, including myself. I'm hoping that we all just, like, chill until the final five, and then we can just go from there. And I feel like this travel has just been a lot more complicated, has become a lot more complicated now that the person that we all agreed to get out, we can't get out anymore, right? So, because, like, at this point, Angie's just a snake, like, she just is doing whatever she has no clue what's going on i think that's just best for like other people too like the girls are down for angie like delaram and abby i'm honestly between abby and delaram right now really yeah i like i i've just been thinking about it and i really think it's like what's best for my game why them over like angie Angie's committed, I think, to keeping me around, and I feel like I've worked with her in the past, and even though, like, we had, like, kind of a rough spot during the tribe swap, um, I think she's just, like, really redeemed herself and, like, made me feel like I can trust her down the long run, whereas Delaram and Abby, like, they haven't done anything against me, I just haven't, like, I don't know anything about them or where they're at. Since Santi is one of also one of the only other people that realizes how like powerful Doug is, I'm sure that Santi would like turn on Doug, because I don't think Santi would be like stupid enough to like take Doug with him to the final, because like I think Santi would obviously lose. So I mean, I guess so. Like it's not me. Uh, as of now, I don't think so. I guess the only thing that scares me too is like the possibility of an idol. See, I did have an idol, just like hypothetically, right? Yeah. I did have an idol, and you that you're going to get me out and I'm leaving. Yeah. I wouldn't get you out. I would get Angie out. If you really, like, doubt me, like, that's the worst thing that can happen is, like, Angie goes home, like, you would still be in the game. I think it's just kind of, like, you're scared to make that decision in the, in the short term, and it's, it's a hard one to make, so that's the only reason I'm hesitating, but I'm not going to resist it. I think the one that's really resisting it right now is Doug. I want to beat Doug. Like, I don't want to get him out. I want to beat him. We need to like do something about this, you know. I'm like, honestly over it. Like, mm -hmm. so it's us three. So I told Doug I would talk to him before the challenge because he wanted to talk after tribal and we didn't talk. So like, I don't know what he wants to talk about. He's, the thing is, like, it sucks because like he knows like us three are like a thing. So like, he is like not gonna say anything to you, which is like the shitty part. Oh no, not this shit. <laughs> Doug's like controlling everything. He's he's the one running this game. I know, I know, I know. We've we talked about it. Trust me, I've talked to Abby and City about this so much, and every time they convince me not to. And if I don't have them, I don't have anyone. I'm trying to think how to play this. Doug is still one of the people that I relatively trust in this game for like the most part, and I just, it's just hard because I would throw him under the bus if he was like any other person. Like, if it was Tim, I'd throw him under the bus. If it was, like, Santi, I'd probably throw him under the bus, right? And say, like, this kid has two idols. Part of me is going to try and be, like, I've been hearing talks that Delaram is, like, going to be voted out. Like, I think you should use your idol on him. Do you think he would? Because, well, A, okay, so two things are going to happen. Either he uses it on you, and then, like, we can trust him again. If, like, people really did flip and go for you, or if he doesn't use it for you, then, like, you probably would go home. You, like, would go home. But then, like... We would know we like definitely can't trust him. I do not feel fully confident this is five that this final five is a five. I hope it is, but I am not confident. My chance of winning this game at this point is like slim to none because like people are gonna so, try and blindside me. Yeah. So that's why it's like might as well like help you guys win. So hey. <laughs> Yeah, I just don't know where things stand right now. But I hope by I hope by travel tonight that everything will be set in stone and that I won't go in feeling like super worried. It's one of the three, we have to decide who. Yeah. And we're worried we have to predict who has an idol. And we have to. As a fan of the game, not a participant. Yeah, I'm out. <laughs> you would vote Abby. Abby. <laughs> oh, come on, boy. Any honest. Dog doesn't want to betray Sadie for some weird reason. Like, he should be smart enough to know that he can't win with her and. I don't get why he's sticking by her side so much. He's just trying to play both sides at this point and it's just like really frustrating and annoying. It's like Doug's fault because he doesn't want to like lie to Sadie. Tonight, so honestly, like there's no hiding anymore. After tonight, lines are gonna be extremely clear who's in the majority, who's in the minority.
like to bring in the members of the jury. Morgan and Josh voted out at the last tribal council. We saw that touch. So, last tribal. It's very clear there were some unhappy faces. Delron, Sadie, Abby. As soon as the votes were read, as soon as we were done, all three of you got up and left. Delron, how did you feel after the vote? Um, I was completely blindsided. I had no idea what was happening. I did not like the outcome. I didn't want Josh to go home that time. Abby, does it make you feel like you're kind of on the bottom with that vote? Yeah, definitely, like, being in the minority when you thought you were in the majority definitely makes you reevaluate your, like, life. And so I definitely do think that I'm on the bottom right now. Tim, is it fair to say that that's the division? Here we go. It's five against three. Uh, yeah, I definitely think that's fair to say. I'm not going to, like, shirt or anything. So we go to the challenge. Angie, Dane, you guys stood on for an hour and 51 minutes. That's nearly four times as long as any other player here. Dane, what does this win mean to you? Uh, it feels good, you know, I finally won something. And it kind of was a way for me to prove to myself that I'm here for a reason, you know. I told myself I wasn't going to let go until my body gave out, and I won, and I kept true to my own words. Angie, I mean, what really kept you there for so long? It was 34 degrees, it was late on a Saturday night. Well, one, I'm just like a competitive person, but two, I feel like as of right now, I'm always in danger of going home. Like I know like today, my name's gonna be like coming up. So just because I knew that, I kind of wanted to ensure that I wasn't gonna go home. Sadie, you made a, a real stink face. I just don't think it's gonna be Angie. <laughs> Do you feel safe tonight? Uh, no, I think I have a big possibility of going home, but I don't really know what's going on. Dane, you just waved. Yeah. During the challenge, there's a, <laughs> a little bit of back and forth. There's definitely a little bit of bitterness between the two of us right now. But I'm the one with immunity, so. Yeah, I got a couple texts today from Dane. And Dane, <laughs> and Dane said a couple of stuff. He's like, yo, like, vote for me. And I'm like, that makes no sense, man. Like, you have immunity. Dane, what were you texting her exactly? I can pull it up. It was like, no, so you should vote for me. Asking. I'm the weakest. And I'm like, no, because people keep asking me, like, who am I going to vote for tonight, like, out of desperation. And so I just kind of wanted to, like, mess with people a little bit, you know? If Daron goes home, she's going to be on the jury, and when oh, she's yeah. casting that final vote, she's going to go, <laughs> Yo, Dane, you want me to vote for you? I'm not voting for you today, Dane! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if she does that, I wouldn't yeah. blame her. So you definitely going to pull that. <laughs> that was pretty hard for you. <laughs> she knows you so well. <laughs> I mean, do you feel like the things you do do matter with the fact that these people are going to be in jury? Yeah, a little bit. I was just projecting a little bit of bitterness because I don't overheard bitterness. <laughs> <laughs> but that's, like, that's the whole point of the game, so yeah. I respect that. Like, Thanks. Be dramatic. Abby, it's so interesting. It seems like everything's pointing to one of you three is going home, you know, there's nothing you can really do. Why are you guys just sort of sitting by and saying, okay, yeah, one of us is going home, no fight with us. Because we can't do anything about it. I think so. No, like, <laughs> it's one of us three. Yeah, we're trying, but it's like... Uh, not here. It doesn't look at all like you're trying. It sounds like... Uh, just... I mean, it, right before this, yeah. I and mean, here we are. We're just, we can go on and on talking and talking, but like, I don't think anyone's going to flip because they're safe. And that's like the same what I did last tribal. I do want to say, though, that I, I know that Doug has a immunity idol that he found at the Dizzy Bat Challenge, so... I think they should like rethink their decision because it might hurt your game like knowing Doug has an idol. Abby did win most trustworthy so she might not be telling a lie y'all. I think idols are just scary at this point and everyone's scared of them so like okay you're gonna say like at this point that's the what you can do when you're on the bottom. Doug how do you make a decision about which of the three you're voting? Um, I love everyone a lot here and it's hard. Santi, do these relationships that you make with these people, does it make it much harder to vote them out? Yeah, I'd say like, even though like, it seems clear cut like majority versus minority in some ways it is, it doesn't mean it's like, it, it's a easy choice internally to make. Cause it definitely does like still weigh on your conscience. This game is like meant to do that. And I think the longer this game's gone on, like the lines between like the personal and the game have been blurring. So um, I think like at the end of the day, I just had to, convince myself like I gotta make the decision that's best for my game and that's what I've done to this point. Sadie would you agree that sort of the relationships do play a big part in this game? I think we can all agree like for the most part we all like each other. 
And like I have like hung out with people like outside of the game and like we've become really good friends. I mean, I guess I would just say like, if you don't vote me out, like I would still be in the minority and like I wouldn't really be able to do anything. So like might as well keep me around. Like I guess you could use me later. All right, well, unless anyone has anything else to say, we're gonna get to the vote. I wanted to write this name down for so long. And if you play your idol tonight and save yourself, that'll still be better for me, so. Um, Abby does not deserve to go home or save you. If anything, it should be me. Um, I am not happy. I think I'm going home tonight. You just get like a gut feeling. I'm hoping everyone sticks to the plan and actually goes through. Gosh. If anyone has a hidden immunity idol and you'd like to play it, now would be the time to do so. Alright. Once the votes have been read, the decision is final. The person voted out will be asked to leave the tribal council area immediately. I'll read the votes. First vote, Sadie. 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 That is three votes, Sadie. Angie. 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 That is three votes, Sadie. Three votes, Angie. Two votes left. Abby. That is three votes, Sadie. Three votes, Angie. One vote, Abby. One vote left. Thirteenth person voted as Survivor Maryland, major conflict, and the fourth member of our jury. Sadie. That is four. That is enough for tonight. Sadie, try the spoken. There you go. Delarom, Abby, you two are on the bottom. Let's see if you can do anything about it. It's final seven. Other than that, got nothing for you. Have a good night, guys. Yeah. True. So yeah, yeah, I voted out. That sucks. I'm kind of annoyed that we didn't get Dana out last week because like none of this would have happened, but it's okay. I like did kind of know it was me, so I kind of wish Doug had played his idol. Part of me thinks that like he really knew it was me and he just wanted to keep two. Abby probably shouldn't have said that, but it's okay. I don't hate her. Abby and Delarm are still squad. It's been like an awesome experience. Definitely one of the best college experiences I've ever had. Okay, peace out. Go Terps.
this time on Survivor. With two pairs of roommates in the game, lines become blurred. I don't know if I'm wrong for thinking this, but I still feel good about you and Delaron. Like going forward though, want to avenge for Sadie. And Abby and Delaron begin to focus on how to get to the end. Abby's gonna tell you, maybe or maybe not, that Doug has two idols. I want to like have him gain trust in me, and then bam. Since I don't really have anything to lose at this point, I'm trying to get him out next tribal.